Hey, beautiful people. My name is Kristen. Thank you for stopping by today. I have a book haul. And even though I said in my last haul, I wasn't going to be getting a lot of books. I've been getting a lot of books, but I really am going to be more, um, getting less books in the future. I really am. It's just things happen. So let me tell you about those things and share with you what books I got. Now, first up, I don't have Amazon Prime. I know, I know it's so weird, but I don't. So Sometimes when I order something obscure that I can't find anywhere else, so I need to go on to Amazon, which is really the only time I support Amazon, I need something else in the cart to get free shipping because what's the point of paying a bunch of shipping when you could just put in a book that's just a little bit over whatever that is and save it? You just basically get shipping charges as a discount on a book. Think about that a minute. <laughs> so that has happened twice since the last book call, and I picked up the Penguin Cloth Bound Oliver Twist, which I've been seeing this at Barnes & Noble and it's been tempting me, but it was $25 at Barnes & Noble and it was only $20 from Amazon. So I used that as one of my shipping things and then something beautiful happened because I stuck in this before the coffee gets cold. Um, this book is been talked about a lot. It's basically a coffee shop where you sit in a, a chair and you can see different parts of time that of the past, maybe the future too. I'm not sure on that, but you see different parts of the coffee shop. Like you can go back and I think hear different conversations or I don't know if you get to ask a certain question or you get to control what it shows you. Maybe it just knows what it needs to show you. But anyway, but y'all, this book when I got it and I pulled it out and you know how some books have that smell this book I cannot even tell you how good this book smells this is my favorite new book smell right here it's like I don't care if I never read this now I'm just gonna keep it and sniff it <laughs> if you are a book sniffer I'm telling you you need to order this book I, I don't care if it's even gonna end up being good it's like, yes. So for those who've been watching, you may know that my office is literally right next door to Barnes and Noble. Like literally, like you go out and the closest thing to my office is Barnes and Noble. So I went in there and it was the beginning of March and you know, there's middle grade March. So they were having a middle grade table with buy one, get one 50% off. So I had to, I had to look at these beautiful books. So, um, this is where the mountain meets the moon. And, um, I think it's a little girl who's traveling on some pilgrimage, but it's, it's like mystical fantasy kind of thing. And then this one I had seen on Krista books and jams channel. Uh, this is a series of the book wanderers. So they get to go inside of like the classics or the meet the characters or save them or, you know, it's, it's basically children on adventures in books. I mean, when I heard that, I was just like, Oh, I totally need this. So then this was kind of what set me off when I went in. So I'm not going to get to these for middle grade March because my middle grade March is too long but I own them and they're beautiful. Look how pretty these are. I mean, these are gonna be beautiful just on my shelves. You see how I get sucked into this. Now, for book of the month, I have skipped a couple months to try to get down my TBR, but I did pick this one up in February, uh, Jojo Moy's um, Someone Else's Shoes. This is the one where I think it's at the gym that they have similar gym bags and they accidentally get each other's. And so it's, these two women who they're not swapping lives, but they somehow, you know, are very different and have very different bags. And this stirs up all kinds of stuff. And it sounded like a really great premise. So I decided that one I really wanted to read, although I have no idea when. Now, I went to a library sale. Now, I haven't been to a library sale in a long time. And library sales are great because it's like literally like you know, 50 cents to a dollar to $2 max for books, which is crazy good. So they had a, an Orhan Pamuk, um, this one's Snow. I don't know anything about it, but I love this author. So you can't go wrong getting an author you already know you love. 
I found a poetry book, uh, Dylan Thomas, and I had opened it up and I actually read one or two of these in the library and it, they just seemed very down to earth, very earthy and, and, you know, about common day things. And I thought that could come in useful or be interesting. I found a copy of the um, Tattooist of Auschwitz. So I know that uh, Becky at Teacup the Storyteller had just read this and really enjoyed it. And so I thought for 50 cents, we would go ahead and pick that up. Then also this big book was also 50 cents, y'all. Margaret Thatcher. I don't know a whole lot about her. I have to admit it's kind of embarrassing that such a prominent historical figure. I don't know that much about her or her life. I do know that my father, when he was vice president of an oil company, actually got to, the chance to meet her, kind of be public relations uh, because his company was kind of hosting her for something. So I'm excited to, to someday read that and learn more. Um, this is a book on time travel. So I had just said that I was interested in learning more about time. And this is a nonfiction book on time travel. Have no idea if it's any good, but again, 50 cents. <laughs> this one was a dollar and this one's on Nelson Mandela. Again, I know a little bit more about, um, the life of Nelson Mandela, but really not, not much for as much as he did and has, um, valuable as he was in the peacekeeping efforts. I mean, he's definitely worthy of getting to know more. And this is a novel, The Air Affair, um, Jasper F Floored, Floored, Ford. It's two Fs. Um, but this is a story that, again, it's one of those where you get to enter the book or whatever, but the, there is a Jane Eyre character that ends up like murdered or kidnapped or it's like a it's like a mystery novel or whatever there's something messed up and you're trying to solve it or whatever but there's a supernatural element of of characters jumping pages kind of thing and that sounded fantastic I thought it might even be good for like a um Jane Austen July or something then I found a copy of White Fragility. I have been reading a lot of the anti-racism books, but I haven't actually not read this one. This was kind of one of the first ones that started a lot of the discussion. And I don't know if it's any good, but I thought sometime I would want to pick that up for 50 cents. And I also got a Spark Notes on the Republic by Plato because I already have a copy of Plato and I plan to read it in June for the Ancients read Readathon. But I thought, hey, this might be helpful because Plato could easily be over my head, above my pay grade, not gonna lie, it might be, and that might be fun to have. I found a copy of Ray Bradbury's The Illustrated Man. Loved everything I've read by him a lot. Like he is one of my very favorite classic authors so far, but he still, I still haven't read a lot of his things, including that one. So that one, 50 cents. And then this one was a dollar, The Joy of Signing and I have a couple sign language books that I pick up every once in a while, but I really like the detail of this one and kind of giving the explanations and nuances. There's also a lot of videos on YouTube to kind of teach you the basic signs and that's really helpful. But I just try to pick up every once in a while a few signs. Um, then I ordered from Thrift Books. I can't remember what it was. They emailed me some like thing like, I don't know if it was free shipping or a discount. There was some promotion for thrift books. So I got the house on the house in the Cerulean Sea. And I know there's several people that had said they were interested in reading this and we were putting together a little buddy read group read of this. And so if you're one of those people, I, I was taking note of this on Boxer and then all my messages disappeared. So if you are, leave me a comment. <laughs> I'm working on rebuilding when I'm going to read that because I'm willing to read it whenever you know, other people are. I also got a copy finally of Doing Good Better. This book was highly, highly recommended from Brandon's bookshelf. So Brandon, if you're still lingering around and watching, look, I actually got a copy of this. So I look forward to actually reading into that since Thrift Books had it for me cheaply. Uh, Their Eyes Were Watching God. This is a kind of classic that I had on my radar and wish list for a long time. 
and I adore Wilkie Collins. Absolutely one of, definitely in my top classic authors. So this is called The Dead Secret. Don't know anything about it, but all I need to know is Wilkie Collins. Uh, Raisin in the Sun, another classic that had been on my TBR wish list, and another Wilkie Collins um, Armadale. I'm not sure how you say that one, but I don't care. It'll be good because it's Wilkie Collins. And then finally, I took 20 books to the used bookstore and got credit. And so I ended up buying one new one and then exchanging a bunch. So I only spent $12 at the used bookstore and I got five, six, seven, eight, nine books, nine books for $11. Um, I got a couple Robin Hobbs. So this is the author that I most want to try that I have never read before. And this is the series, I think this is books one and two, if I'm not mistaken, um, Assassin's Apprentice and Assassin's Quest. So this is, this is where I decided to start with him. If you, um, or her, is Robin a female? I don't even know. I just know that this is one of the top uh, fantasy authors. I'll have to find out more about it. I'm super looking forward to it though. I'm just in the middle of Wheel of Time, Stormlight, all these big epic fantasies. So working in more is a challenge. It's a challenge. It's a book problem, y'all. From the used bookstore, I got George Eliot's The Mill on the Floss. I'm not sure this is one of her best books, but still, I really like the copy of it. Nice Penguin Classic. And I really, really, really like middle March. So we'll see. I found a couple, copy of the color purple. So this has been going around. It seems a lot because of Black History Month. A lot of people had picked that one up and I thought about it. I've watched the show, but I have not read the book. So maybe that will be my next February. I did also find a copy of Atlas Shrugged, which I know Anne at Anne with a book had just read and maybe it's doing another report on. So I look forward to that. It is a big book. We'll see if I'm going to pick that up. And then another Wilkie Collins. I can't go wrong with Wilkie Collins, y'all. Tales of Terror and the Supernatural. So I thought this would be a great October. It's not very long. It's just like little short stories. So I thought, oh, that looks like a super perfect one for October. And I, I'm always happy to find Wilkie Collins. I also found this book, Bluebird, Bluebird. It was on a stack of books. There's each person who works at the used bookstore has their recommendations of books that they love. They pull off the shelves and say, this is a good book. And there's a girl who works there, a woman there named Natalie. And most of her books I have read and gave, you know, at least four stars to. And so anything that's in her pile that I have never read, I have basically bought. <laughs> so Attica Locke, don't know that author, um, but it got an award here, the Edgar Award winner. So I think that's mysteries. So this is some sort of mystery. I like that. And then Three Wishes. This is a Leanne Moriarty book. So Big Little Lies is one of my all time favorite fiction books. Um, and this one I have never read and thought, I will pick that up. And then the new book that I went ahead and paid full price for, just because I like supporting the small bookstores, I got the 100 African Americans who shaped American history. And they were doing this as a promotion for February. And I just really like this. It's got like a little kind of cartoon drawing, but then it has the person with the reason why they're important to have shaped American history. And I mean, there's a hundred, so I may know a dozen, but there are going to be so many great things to learn about here. And I think this is one of those books that really what it does is it sparks your interest and it says, oh, I really want to know more about that person or that story or, huh, I never knew that kind of thing. And you just start going down the rabbit trail. And I really, really love that. So there you have it, like over 30 books that I've hauled in just a couple months. So. We really are going to try to step it back, take it down. But honestly, I didn't even spend that much money. It's more like 
trying to find rooms on my shelves and trying to find room in my life to read more books because now I want to read them. I want to read them all. But if there's one that you're like, oh, that's a great book or that's a book I really want to read, would you please leave that in the comments below? Like and subscribe if you're not already. I appreciate your time stopping by. Happy reading, y'all.